First thing is ball pressure. We want the guy on the ball to be as active and as big as he possibly can. So you want to try to pressure this. Your job is to try to get a deflection if you can. But if you can't, you want to try to stare the ball to the short corner or the ball side corner right here. So you don't want the ball to go across the rim if you can avoid it. But more importantly, you don't want him to just throw a straight line pass. So you kind of want to just shade it a little bit and be big. You guys here, it's your job as the guards here to make them catch the ball going in front of you. So typically, even if we're running a man-to-man, -man, we would tell our guys, like, stay on his inside shoulder. Don't let him catch the ball in the middle of the floor and make them catch the ball going away. So any diamond pressure would tell you the same thing. Make them catch the ball going towards the corners if you can. Now, again, a good team, if he's smart, he would look over top. He would say, all right, these guys are being covered. They're big guys back there, so they have some guys wide open. We would look at it. This is why this guy has to be smart and this guy has to be somewhat quick. He is going to right here cheat hopefully to the ball side and just kind of be in a position where if they throw this long pass, he could either steal it or, just as important, cut it off. So just go ahead and throw that pass here. And let's say they do that over top. It's your job if you don't steal it to stop the ball. So you're going to run and stop it. So you're just in a position here. If this guy gets up, you, will, you can walk up with it, but here's the rule with our big on the back. Whatever you do, don't let anybody get on the other side of you. So don't let them beat you over top. And if you are going to go for a steal, make sure that you can catch it with two hands. That's our rule. If you can't, if you're going to go after it and you don't think you can catch it with two hands, don't go after it. So if you're just going to gamble and take yourself out of the play, that means we're going to give up a layup. So you're not really gambling, unless you absolutely feel like you're going to get a steal. So even if they bring him all the way up, who cares? Okay. So the entry pass is not that big of a concern. We just don't want him to get a quick layup off of it. So go ahead and throw it here. So we got good ball pressure. We're forcing the guys to the corner. Middle guy's kind of reading. Big guy's protecting, but can walk up a little bit if he needs to. We throw the ball into, and again, we're just doing this traditionally, throw the ball into there. And the first one is what we call read, and this is what the name of the press is, or why we call it read. And this is kind of your traditional diamond. It starts with just read. And if we are running this as our team, this would be what we are in most of the game, read. So instead of calling this diamond, we'd be yelling out, read, read, read. So when the ball comes here, again, basic stuff. Hands big, you don't want to get beat going sideline, and you don't want to allow the ball to go middle. And we want to try to trap the first pass. But here's one thing as a teaching point. Throw the ball back here. Take it out. Get a little deeper. What we teach our guys is as soon as the ball goes in, instead of running directly to the ball, if I do this, I'm allowing him to drive middle. So we teach our guys as soon as they come off is to go up the line like an L cut and get in a position to where I can help on the drive and then get a good trap here. So we're trying to run out to his shoulder and make sure we get a good trap with our hands high. So let's just go ahead, run up and get in that trap. So we are in read. And the reason I'm going over this first is read is simply what I just said. We're reading what the offense is doing. 